Hey guys, what is going on? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the returning D1 exotic, The Last Word. In today's video, I'm going to be going over how to get this weapon and the best way to use it, because it is pretty difficult to get used to at first. Okay, now let's get into the stats. As you can see from these stats, all the stats are pretty low except for the impact and reload speed. But also, the thing that stands out is that it has a rate of fire of 225 rounds per minute. This is unusual because on most hand cannons it is lower than that. But the damage on this weapon is actually extremely good because there's 51 damage to the body and 68 damage to the head. Which means within 3 shots of hitting to the head, you can kill a person of pretty much any resilience and you can force that then to the body. Now I recommend hip firing this weapon because the recoil when you in this heist is extremely bad unlike Destiny 1, but on PC it is actually very controllable, so I say this weapon is actually better on that platform. But let's get into the exotic perk that really makes this weapon stand out even more. So as you can see, the main perk of this weapon says that it can be fired quickly and continuously. This means that it fires faster and you can hold down the trigger to make it fire fully automatic. It also states that when you damage enemies while hip firing, you get faster reload and better accuracy, and it stacks up to 4 times. This perk is called Fanfire, and you can see it in the background gameplay stack up to 4 times. Now let's get into how to get this weapon. The first step of this quest requires you to go talk to the Drifter, and it should already pop up on your screen without you having to do anything. So visit him and you'll get a quest called Tainted Artifact. The second step is called The Cleansing in which you need to kill 75 hive and get hive tablets, defeat 3 hive bosses, and defeat hive with solar damage 125 times. The easiest way of getting the solar damage done is by doing escalation protocol and using a sunshot, which is what I was using and is very good. The hive tablets can drop at random but they are very common so you'll eventually get that too. But for hive bosses defeated I recommend going to the lost sector right next to the Braytech facility on Mars as you can run through it very quickly and kill the boss easily three times. The next step is to go back to the drifter and he'll tell you to feed the artifact by killing enemies in the crucible. And this is pretty easy, you get two points for every kill and assist and then dying will reset at one point. So just have a positive KD and you should be able to get it complete very quickly. I got it completed in two games and it's just extremely easy and very straightforward. The next step is to do a ritual on Titan, which is just a lost sector, but the boss will have a shield until you take down the wizard or knights next to him, and then you just kill him and you'll get the next step, which is called a new jagged purpose. Just return to the drifter, and he will can give you the next step, which is to collect etched crystals from lost sector 1 of escapees, get best serves cold and blood for blood metals in the crucible, kill hive with precision damage, and sacrifice hive bosses and witches rituals. You need to get 50 hive larvae from the precision kills of the hive, which have a chance of dropping them at 100%. Crucible metals, it's pretty straightforward. You need to either kill an enemy that killed you or kill an enemy that recently killed a teammate. And you can do this pretty easily in mayhem since a lot of people are dying very quick. And you have to complete three heroic hive rituals. You can do this on Mars or on Titan. And I'd say just switch between them. If one's not up on Titan, check Mars. And if one's not up on Mars, check Titan. But then you have to complete a lost sector that has a one to escape 15 times. Then you will get the final step, which is to go track down the Hive Weapon Master. And this is its own standalone mission, and you can only do it by yourself. It is a pretty cool mission, so I don't really want to spoil it. But after you complete that mission, it will immediately give you the last word. Then you go back to the Drifter, and it will give you some cool lore about the weapon. And that's pretty much all that I have to say for this review. My, my final thoughts on the weapon are that it feels really good, it is my new favorite weapon in Crucible, I think it just handles amazing, and have good luck getting it, see you in the next video.